Well, tonight, only on 10, a Pocosin man is talking about being burned after his boat exploded. We told you about this earlier in the week from Bennett Road. It happened Wednesday morning. The victim suffered second degree burns on his body. And 10 of your side's Andy Fox is following up for us tonight. Andy? Yeah, Tom, Wednesday morning, Fred Grafe was on his boat. He'd been having issues with it. So he was working on his boat engine, and there was a backfire in the carburetor, which ignited gas fumes. Well, my hand was on fire. Fred Grafe could have died Wednesday in this fire on his boat. I had it ready to start up. I went to crank it up, and boom. It blew me out the boat about 20 feet into the creek. Huge. It was like a shotgun or something went off right next to you. I mean, humongous. Beverly Phillips claims to be the first to call 911. She took these pictures. I did see someone in the water that was moving the boat away from the, from the dock. That would be Fred. Even after the stunning explosion, he had presence of mind to keep moving. I swam back to shore. I untied the boat from the pier and I shoved it out. I, I got it away from the dock as much as I could to make sure it didn't catch his stuff on fire. Grafe now has several second degree burns. But this right here, it looks like you have some burns Yeah, it's there. burnt there, it's burnt all the way up to here and up on here. And in your face, you have some on your face too. Yeah, but it, I, it'll heal. Could be worse, I could be dead. Could have been dead. He's thankful he's alive, figuring out how he will get the boat out of its watery grave. Fred Grave is hoping that somehow he's able to get the boat out of water. We will keep you updated on his progress. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Two